I'm back again for Valentine's Day to share my love of wild places. How would you like to build muscle, eat as much as you want, and still drop weight like an anchor? Okay. The place for you is the Baffin Bodybuilding Institute <laughs> inside <laughs> IU We Took National Park Canada. Baffin Island is the world's fifth largest and the park lies west of central Greenland, shown by the red dot. Our workout occurred in August. These, these two locals from the Kick community were inspirational. They flaunted hard bodies honed at an early age. Here, they demonstrate the puppy lift, which promotes <laughs> Rapid development of shoulders, arms, and a vice-like grip. Locals treated us to narwhal, a toothed whale with a protruding canine tusk. Chewing the fat builds jaw muscles that grizzly bears envy. <laughs> and the taste is great if you like bicycle inner tubes soaked in Crisco. <laughs> it's... It's a two-and-a-half-hour boat ride from Kick to Baffin Island. Polar swimmers can now exercise in almost ice-free water. So much sea ice is melting that the steel-reinforced hull of our boat is almost redundant. Baffin Bodybuilding begins by donning 60-pound backpacks and hiking for 61 miles following two rivers. This massive outdoor gym occurs, uh, offers diverse workout stations with many inclines and speed settings. <laughs> Muskeg marks our first exercise station. The soft, wet soil massages our feet as we sink to our ankles. <laughs> Our slow pace allows time to build turkey thighs and reflect on the money we save by avoiding a conventional fitness center. <laughs> we, we get a shaky start on the rock stairmaster. Miles of rock Pilates has its ups and downs and continuously puts us between rocks and hard spots. The sand trap treadmill provides an even more intensive cardio workout. The 100% natural surface is gluten and salt free. <laughs> and, and no mindless indoor videos are needed to convince patrons that they are exercising outdoors. <laughs> After miles of heavy sweating, how about a refreshing walk through an icy cold stream? We cross many along our exercise route. Canada Parks reported most visitor deaths are caused by drowning and exposure from unplanned swims. <laughs> Bodybuilding also requires resting after vigorous workouts. We routinely practice the yoga shavasana pose long... <laughs> 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 long enough to, to attract vultures. For, <laughs> for, fortunately, Baffin Island had no vultures, so they couldn't interrupt our corpse impersonations. <laughs> Many day, midday resting conserved enough energy to make camp. We selected sites by streams to avoid having to uh, cross high water crossings after the sun came up. Baffin Bodybuilding also includes daily weightlifting. Heavy rocks had to be collected and placed on each tent corner. 50 mile an hour winds immediately revealed those who failed the task and had to run the dreaded tent chase marathon. <laughs> Here's a typical dinner loaded with carbs, sugar, and enough cholesterol to cause cardiac arrest in a yak. <laughs> our, men, our Mennonite made salamis packed enough fat to fuel an emergency fire. Baffin Island is known for its big wall rock climbing. One destination is Mount Asgard, which sports two flat-topped rock towers. Just climbing this one with our eyes to the 4,000-foot summit gave us nosebleeds. 
Mount Thor is also a renowned climbing destination. From its peak, you can bungee plunge 5,000 feet before splattering. <laughs> we chose instead the, this river campsite with a drop of no more than six feet, depending on personal height. Note the, oh, the red tents. A uh, big disappointment was not seeing big animals. Park staff reported big declines of polar bears, caribou, and seals within the last decade. These antlers are the only caribou we saw and might dispute that changing climate is a hoax. Hundreds of Canada geese, both adults and goslings, were seen on the floodplains. Predators included the Arctic fox and at least one low-flying peregrine falcon that appeared to have a beer gut. <laughs> we also rested at emergency shelters scattered along the exercise track. These structures are reportedly built to withstand 150 mile an hour winds. The solar panels charge batteries that enable radio communications with park headquarters. Another major bodybuilder was hiking into the wind machine, which usually blew upstream into our faces. At this point, the wind blew so hard that it broke the Arctic Circle. <laughs> After Two weeks of killer workouts, seeing our return ride to an airport was a religious experience. <laughs> we, <laughs> we, we, re, we returned <laughs> to civilization with heavy memories and much lighter uh, bodies. My 12 pound weight loss from Baffin bodybuilding gave me the appearance of a poster boy for world hunger. <laughs> Thank you.